Well, hey folks, I'm out metal detecting today. Back out at the same spot I was in last episode. Excited to be back out here. Uh, continuing to do some research on this location. So there was a little more Civil War uh, troop movement through this area than I originally thought. And I already discovered that it is an older site than I'd previously thought, uh, going back to the very early 1800s, if not late 1700s. And I know that's odd for this area, but this was one of the earliest uh, sites, settlements uh, in this area of the country. So uh, not exactly at this point, but movement through here. And that's, that's what you're always looking for is human activity on the ground where, uh, where folks could have dropped things, you know, along the way wherever they were going so that's that's what i'm after here and yes there was a couple of old home sites here been here for just a few minutes uh dug a piece of a horseshoe and a piece of a harmonica reed but let me turn you around here for just a second so i think i've just popped myself a little brass wedding band look at this found these many times down in south louisiana that's exactly what that's going to be Pretty decent shape too. I love finding these. Um, you know, it's definitely someone's personal history, their personal belongings. Probably a wedding band. Probably a man's based on the size of this. But I like finding those. That's a, that's a that's a cool little piece of history right there. So we'll take that. Starting out the morning here. It's going to be a beautiful day. Uh, I think the high is going to be about 70 degrees. Got a lot of field still left to cover here. So uh, we're going to do our best to get on some old history and see what we can do. So let's keep rolling. That wind is really starting to pick up. I had a uh, 16, 17, jumped up to like 20 something. Popped a nail out of there and I was like, no, that's not it. Got my pinpointer out. And there it was. There's the little squeaker. It'll be a flat button. I don't see anything on it. Get it cleaned up, of course, but we'll take that. I always take an early flat button. I think I see some gold gilt still left on there, so we'll get it cleaned up. Well, it's been a minute since I turned the camera on. I'm in a different part of the field. Uh, still just kind of, you know, exploring. I got this little piece. Is it part of uh, some brass scissors, or what is that? Hmm. Looks familiar. Someone's going to know what that is. I don't know. You tell me. Let me know in the comments. All right, well, I rarely dig old iron, especially big iron out in a farm field because it's usually some old broken piece of farm equipment or, you know, something I'm just not too interested in. Uh, but I figured I would, I knew this was gonna be iron. I knew it was deep uh, and I still don't know what it is, but I thought I would just show you guys some of the stuff that you come across, I don't know, is it going to be an old cast iron pot? It's, uh, I don't know how deep that is, 12 inches, 14 inches maybe? That doesn't even come to the surface. That's 8 inches, so I'll get it out of here and uh, and haul it off regardless of what it is. But if it's, if it's something cool, I'll come back and show you. But, uh, you know, that's just uh, part of it. You kind of get bogged down something like this and you feel like, well, I just got to get it out of there now. So... We'll see what it is. Well, that's uh, that's what you get. You spend 10 minutes on something and you pop out a big, who knows what that is, I don't know. It's, uh, you know, eight inches across, some type of old wheel. I don't, I don't know what it is. But I'll get it out of the field for the farmer, put it off to the side and pick it up on my way out. So, all right, let's keep rolling. Well, the wind has just got steadily worse. I'm gonna to try to shield it a little bit. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, in a little iron patch here, different spot of the field. Um, just, you know, 
plugging along here. Got a 1920. I said out loud to myself, let that be a half dime. And I sure think that is what it's going to be. I think. Yep. Can already see 53. Put some spray on that. Any bricks laying around here? That is some thick mud right there. Half dime, look at that. Just spreading the mud here. Urgh. Got nowhere to put it. Let me hit pause here for a second and I'll be right back. All right, well you can uh, see there, 1853 with arrows, look at that, half dime, that's a beautiful little coin, got some of that dark staining on it, you see, from time to time, let me see if I can zoom in on it a little bit there, look at that. coin just gotta keep plugging away at it I know there's I know this I know it's out here so outstanding well let's keep at it for a while there you go we'll end on it being clear all right let's keep rolling well, I just dug the uh, seated Liberty half dime just a few minutes ago just two rows over, what I call rows, uh, lines. I had a 1617. Let's see if I can get my tripod fixed here. I think it's going to be the front top piece to a button. What kind of button? Or maybe it's smashed in. I see the shank there. Is it going to be a... Uh, Officer's uh, staff button. What's it gonna be? I didn't bring my soft toothbrush with me. I see some gold on there. Let me hit it with a toothpick. I don't want to mess it with, mess with it too much. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. All right. Well, there you go. Maybe you can see that. There you go. It's gonna be a general service. I'm gonna drop it in some lemon juice. I think I see some gold left on it. But uh, man, what a day. Look at this. Got the silver, got the Civil War. Love it. Gonna hang out for a few more minutes. All right, well, I am back out here today, and the farmer has just sort of did a uh, surface plow, like a, I don't know if you call it a turbo plow or not, but getting it ready to do a deep plow. Just finished a few minutes ago, actually, just drove off with the tractor. I was kind of messing around out here. While he was doing it, this wind has been really bad, uh, and I haven't, haven't really recorded anything. But I've been here for a few minutes now, I am on the board with some things. Got this little button. I don't know, that's probably more modern. Can't really tell what that is. I think I've dug one of those. I think it's off of blue jeans or something. Got this little tiny button. You can see that. I don't know if you can see the detail on There's something on there for sure. But that's like smaller than a cuff size. So I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'll get it cleaned up and see. I uh, got the little pistol shot, several musket balls, different things here. I thought that was going to be a counterfeit uh, 
lead coin might be, but uh, started scraping on there a little bit. So yeah, been here for a little bit at the same spot where uh, I dug the Confederate, right in the same spot of the field where I dug the Confederate button. But I just popped another little button here. I think it's just gonna be a flat button. You can see that that sun is bright. I see a lot of gold on the back here. I'm not gonna clean it anymore. Uh, I might see something on there. We'll get it cleaned up for the wrap up. It's thick, thicker than a normal flat button, so I don't know. So we're gonna hang out here in this field for a little while today and see if we can get on some more silver. Got something interesting here. Look at this. Could it be? cleaned up that's different well it's turned into an absolutely beautiful day work my way back over to another little area there's my truck over there um, kind of block these trees look blocking the wind a little bit I had a scratchy 18 17 18 signal here uh, just dug a wheat scent right over there uh, Popped it, and I got myself a little Indian. It's like it's going to be 1880-something. Uh, Can you see that? Put it in the shade here, maybe. I can't tell. That sun's so bright. Maybe you can see that. 1880-something. Well... Hopefully you can see something there. I barely can see my screen. All right, well, that's a good sign. Liking that. Back's pretty rough, rough shape. We'll take it. I had a uh, 12 right on the surface and I just kicked it. I just went like this. And lo and behold, got myself 1891 Liberty Head. V nickel, as they're called. Allergies are starting to act up here. Yeah, look at that. 1891. I'm hoping you can see that. Maybe. All right, well, uh, two 1800 coins right here in this little area, so looks very promising. Um, you know, if you're if you're wondering what I look for out in a field like this where it's just massive, other than you know getting an old map, which I do have, uh, the area I'm in now was not on any map, but it was clearly an old home site here. Um, you can see that that's uh, pieces of pottery, uh, bricks, old glass, brick right there. But the more I'm in this area, I mean, the, the pottery is just everywhere. You can see this. So that's what I look for. And this is, the, the, the ground is just packed full of iron in this area. So, uh, got the little coil right over there in the truck. I'm thinking about putting the small coil on to kind of work through this, some of this iron. But I may do that in a few minutes. I've still got plenty of time left today. I can always come back and work the area more, so... That's where we're at for now. We'll keep going. Still right here in this same little area. Had another 12 signal. A little bit deeper this time. I'm trying to shield you from the wind. And I have myself another Liberty Head V nickel. This one's 1880 something. I think. That side's not too bad. Three 1800 coins right here in this little spot. I'm liking it. If we can just sniff out the silver now. Either way, it's such a such a beautiful day. Winds blowing hard, but other than that, wow. 
Love being out here. Well, it's a new day. It's a wet day. It's a muddy day. I had to uh, keep it in full wheel drive just to get in here. But I wanted to bring the little coil back out to the same spot. So I'm back out exact same spot as the uh, the last find, those nickels and different things. It's been, uh, I think, about two or three days since I've been out here. It's been raining quite a bit. Just been here for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. I think I've dug three holes. But I've got the small coil on there. You can see. I've got a hole here. This is right in that same area where I took the 11-inch uh, coil through. And when you're in these iron patches, that small coil really does make a difference. Uh, so I, I heard a little squeaker here, 23, jumped up to 27, you know, kind of just back and forth. But I popped out the plug, and look at this. I see one dime. Yes, sir. Silver is the order of the day. That's going to be seated absolutely all day long. Got my spray here, but I'm just going to touch that little 1876. <laughs> Look at that beautiful date. Hoping you can see that. Yeah, look at that. Let's get some spray on it. Uh, mud everywhere out here today, that's for sure. Beautiful little Seated Liberty Dime Centennial, the founding of our country, 1876. Nope. Oh. Put one more little spray on it and wipe off my hand here. All right, let me get my hand cleaned up. Look at this. Absolutely. She's worn, but she's pretty. Look at that. Looks like I see an O mint. Maybe. I don't know what that is. No, no, I don't see a mint mark. Maybe I do. My eyes are getting just bad. Whew, 1876. Well, that's the... Uh, uh, well, let me turn my text off here if I can do it. I always forget to do that. That's the, what, fourth or fifth silver, old silver out of this field. I'm loving it. Let's see what else this little coil can pick out. All right, well, I'm still in the same spot. Uh, dug some trash through here. There is some uh, aluminum cans and bottle tops and stuff like that, but I want you to see how close to the side of the field I am. So this was the old road that used to come through here. And I dug, so there's my truck right there. I dug that uh, last seated dime right there next to the truck. So I've been kind of just working my way down this uh, edge of this little road because I know this is where some troops move through here and you know just some activity of folks on the ground. Just popped a uh, 24, 25 signal. Let me just swing you around here. See if you can see this. You see it down in there? Look at this, guys. I think I've got another seated. Look at this. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, man. Dare I say I have found a new field of dreams? Oh, man. One dime. Let me get some spray. Get right here on this little clump of grass. I certainly don't want to jinx myself, but... Wow, look at the detail on this. Don't tell me it's another 1876. Look at this. Got some detail on this one. Try my 
hand off here. Look at this. <laughs> wow, that is in great shape. Let's see if I can zoom in. Look at this. Come on, focus in for me. There we go. Look at that. Is that a... That's a Carson City. I see it. Carson City Mint. Look at this. CC. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's too good. It's just too good. Mm, mm, mm. All right, well. I mean, I really haven't even been here that long. When I start having a good day like this, and, and guys, I've only been out here um, this this time. This, you know, I know it's all one episode, but uh, for maybe 45 minutes, it makes me just want to stop, you know, and not not dig it all in one day, because it's still going to be here. Wow. I'm gonna hang around for a little while longer. What do you say? All right, let's keep going. Still working the edge of this little road here. Just popped a little D. Look at that. Got a nice green patina on it. I think that's a little older. I don't think that's modern. Take that. Cool relic. I've got something here that's uh, pretty cool. I think I've only dug one of these. I've worked my way out in the field a little farther. Look at this. You recognize that? That's a spur rowel. It's the little spike wheel on the back of a spur. Makes the horse giddy up and go. Yeah, that's cool. Take that all day long. All right, well here's the, uh, the wrap up, the board for the multi-day hunt. I uh, had some really good finds over the last few hunts. Some of it, uh, as usual, my caveat is I, I got on video. Most most of it here I think I did. Some of it, though, I didn't. Got a couple pieces that uh, I popped in a, a later hunt that I didn't do any video that I'll show you. But, uh, yeah, so let's just run through this real quick. Picked up some of the glass, uh, just some different pieces, adding to the uh, the Tennessee collection. I'll probably do something with it at some point. A little mosaic. I've done some different things with it. Maybe make a Tennessee state mosaic with it. Uh, got this little brass piece. Still don't know about it. I don't know. Um, some type of maybe, you know, candle holder, scissor handle. Let me know what you think. Not sure. Got the little D-buckle. Uh, picked this up. I'm not real sure. I thought it was going to be a utensil handle, and it says U. You can see the U right there, and the S is right down in the, the middle of the crease. And it's got stars going all the way around it. It's holed in one place. Part of a hole here. It doesn't go all the way through. So I'm, I'm, I'm really interested in trying to figure this one out uh, with the U.S. on it, and there's a star right in the middle of the U.S., so if you have any ideas, this I don't think I got this, but um, definitely give me some ideas if you think you know something on that one. A uh, little uh, fraternity pin here, best ever boys club. I don't even think I ever looked it up. It's a it's a uh, some of the Greek alphabet there in the middle, maybe Omega. I can't see it. So yeah, just a little pin, old brass. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's got some age to it. Couple of wheat scents there. Got some little brass pieces. The uh, I think that's a piece to a lantern. This was kind of cool. Found all three pieces separately. Uh, it's got a patent date of 1860 something. So just a little brass clasp that you could lock. It's broken there and it's broken off the uh, the actual piece here. So uh, the usual spoon handle. Thought this was going to be a piece of a musket. Uh, trigger guard, but I don't think it is. It's kind of thick. I'm not sure about it. Uh, don't know about this. Had a little uh, ridge at the bottom. I don't know. I kept it. Uh, bullets. Got the little 36 caliber Colt. Glad to snag that one. Some uh, other little muskety balls. A few um, 
spent cartridges there. Uh, I think one of them is a 36 caliber. Got the brass wedding band. Saw that, I do believe. Got the spur rowel. That's cool. I uh, was hoping that was going to be gold when I popped it out, but it's not. It's just some type of little jewelry there. And some buttons. Uh, the three little ornate buttons. They are smaller than cuff size, so I'm not real sure. But each of them have similar patterns. I dropped them in lemon juice. It's kind of this iron cross looking piece in the middle. I don't think those are uh, military related. That's probably civilian. Three, probably off the, uh, off the same garment. Thought this one was cool. Uh, button. Dropped it in some lemon juice and can see a little bit of the gold left on it. Got a little four hole underwear button. This is the little blue jean button, more modern. Just the one flat button. Uh, I think I could read that at some point and I forgot what it said. Maybe superior guilt. I'm not sure, but uh, you can definitely see some of that. Had the, uh, the one Civil War button for the day, for the hunt. Eagle Eye for infantry. That is a Union infantry coat button. Always glad to snag those. It's dented right there a little bit, but otherwise not too bad a condition. Really like that. And then the coins uh, had a... Let's see, this was a first year V-Nickel, 1883, I believe, uh, 1894, so a little bit later, Liberty Head V-Nickels. This uh, Indian head turned out to be an 1884, yeah, 1884, if you can see that, maybe, maybe you can see it, 1884, Indian head sent back is pretty toasted. Still a Indian head though. And then the three silvers. Look at that. Three seated. Got the one half dime and the two dimes. 1853 with arrows. Not sure why that's not showing the detail. It does have a pretty good bit of detail on it. Uh, maybe you can see a little bit there. 1853, no mint mark, so Philadelphia. Oh, that's a little better if I back up, huh? So that is only my second half dime since the move. That's a beautiful little coin. And then the two Centennial 1876 Seated Liberty Dime, both Carson City. You can see the CC down there at the bottom. This one's the more worn, worn of the two. Oh. That's a good looking coin. CC at the bottom for Carson City Mint. You don't see a lot of car, or at least I don't. I don't see a lot of Carson City Mint. So, yeah, uh, really liking this place that I've uh, I've been going to. Looking forward to getting back out. There's there's still tons of ter territory that I've not even come close to swinging over. I did want to show a couple other things that I popped at a hunt uh, since the the ones I recorded. Look at this hold uh, mercury dime. Had two holes in it, one broke through. Just very rough, rough condition. Maybe it was in a fire, I'm not sure. But I popped that at a different site. Went out to on a uh, Sunday afternoon. And then I popped this, which I thought was really cool. Uh, it's obviously broke, but this is an old uh, vintage Mickey Mouse. Oh, sorry about that. Mickey Mouse ring. Look at that. How cool is that? Sterling silver. I still haven't nailed down a date. There is a maker's mark on it. I couldn't exactly make it out. I posted it on my uh, Instagram page. But I thought that was really cool. Somebody commented and said that they're selling on eBay for 900 bucks. I didn't see that. And I looked. Um, I saw one. I think that was... I don't even remember what it was listed for, but... Yeah, I just really like that. That's my first uh, anything Disney like that, Sterling Silver, and it's the very old version of Mickey Mouse. So just thought I'd throw that in there. So there you go. That's the, uh, that's the wrap up. As always, thanks for following along on this little hobby of mine. Uh, I am, like I said, over there on Instagram at I underscore dig underscore history. 
jump over there and see what I'm posting and talking about. I do post some, th some things that don't show up on the channel here, on the YouTube channel. Uh, but if you like this channel, if you like the video, I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers, so if you haven't hit that subscribe uh, button yet, I would absolutely appreciate it and, and welcome you into the channel if you think it rates it. Uh, looking forward to hit that, hitting that 1,000 subscriber mark, hopefully within the next few months. I think I'm about 830, 830, something like that. So just grateful for you guys following along and commenting. I love seeing all the comments, interacting with you, hearing your ideas about different things. So I think that's going to do it for now. Um, can't think of anything else, so we will call it good for now. We will see you guys next time. Thanks for following along.